Welcome to my Monster Hunter Rise mod tutorial, wherein I will teach you how you can mod Monster Hunter Rise in PC, of course. There are a lot of mods there in the Nexus, and they mod Monster Hunter Rise in different ways. And these are the major ways they mod it through RE Framework, through Fluffy Mod Manager, through the pack files. And I'm going to walk you through each step so that you won't get confused and hopefully you don't break your game. What you have to do first is grab a Nexus account. OK, you got to go to Nexus Mods, NexusMods.com and register an account for you to have access for all the mods that I am about to show you today in the demo. OK, registering is free and downloading is free, so it's all safe. OK, let's start. You have to know where your local directory is for the game. It's easy to do that. What you do is just right click on Monster Hunter Rise. This is in Steam, so right click Monster Hunter Rise, go to properties and wait for it to load. Go to local files, browse and something will just pop up. This is your Monster Hunter Rise directory. Now, this is a freshly installed Monster Hunter Rise game. No mods yet. And now we're going to install the mods. Now, let's start with RE Framework. So you can go to Nexus Mods. If you actually search for RE Framework, this one is going to easily pop out. So you go there, you go to Files and download main file RE Framework. Once downloaded, it's going to look like this okay it's going to be a zip file or a rar file and please 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 when you download mods make sure you organize them like how i organize this i divided them into three some are for fluffy mod manager some are for re framework and summer pack mods we're going to go over those things in detail later now focus on re framework so if i go near here re framework it's going to look like this after you download this file so what you do is you extract it here once extracted, you're going to get one file, which is dinput8.dll. OK, well, we're going to copy that. And again, go to your Monster Hunter Rise, um, Monster Hunter Rise folder, game directory. You know how to go there, right? It's very simple, right? Go to properties, local files, browse files. And this one is going to pop out and paste it here. Once you paste it here, keep note, look at the folders. OK, keep note. You only place dinput8.dll, OK? So once you place it here, boot up the game once. OK, just boot it up. Did you see that? Some folders already appear, right? But still, uh, make it go through the entire process. Go to the title screen and leave just in case, you know, you will never know what would happen. See, something would pop out in your screen like this. RE framework. It's fine. There's no virus. No worry. You can even just X this. You can even um, just X this. So wait till you get to the title screen just to be safe. Some say it's actually OK to not wait, but, you know, just just to be safe. You always want to be safe. You don't want to break your game, right? You don't want to break your game. So once you're in the title screen, just quit. And as you can see, uh, a folder just popped up out of nowhere and also some files here. Don't mind these files. Focus on this folder. This is very important. So once you double click this RE framework folder, you're going to get auto run and plugins. The auto run folder is where you would put LUA files, which we would go into detail later. Also plugins. OK, so let's try and install an LUA file. One of my favorite LUA files is um, VIP Dango tickets, because, you know, Dango tickets aren't exactly giving you 100 percent chance on your skills. It doesn't make sense. It's 90 percent. But ah, sometimes oof, it feels like it's 50 50. So what this mod does is it makes Dango tickets make everything 100 percent. All right. So 100 percent activation of your skills. See, Dango activation 100 percent when ticket is applied. So you just manually download that. I've already downloaded it and already segregated it into folders. See, these are all LUA files. So Dango VIP ticket, it's going to be a RAR file or a zip file. You extract it here. Once it's extracted, some may have an auto run folder with them. Some may not. Some may just have this LUA. OK, but if they have the auto run folder, it's fine. You just copy that. OK, then you go back to your game directory. Go to RE framework and just paste it here. Automatically, it's going to be paste inside. Now, let's check if this one works. All right, let's check, let's check if this one works. So see this 50%, 70%, 55%. When we use a Dango ticket, it's all 100%. The LUA script in the RE framework now works. One more tip. Earlier, I did uh, X the RE framework 
right? You saw me click on the RE framework, the X button, now it's gone. If you want that to pop out, you don't necessarily need to close the game. You just have to press insert, the insert button on your keyboard, and it's gonna pop out, see? And if you wanted to just get removed again, just insert again, then it's, it's gone. And with the LUA scripts, you can actually install them all at the same time. You don't have to install one, then check it, install one, install two, then check it. You can just install everything all at the same time. Like what I'm gonna do here, some LUA scripts that I do is uh, layer any weapons, which makes you self-explanatory, layer any weapons. So what I do is just extract it here. And again, these things would be, um, I can just copy it directly since this is the, uh, this is the auto run folder. So I just copied it directly. Just paste it there. And this one is an FPS unlocker and kind of makes the images better, I think. So I'm just going to extract it here. Rise tweaks and just put it here. So these things are just going to work once you boot up the game with RE framework. So next one we're going to discuss would be the fluffy mod manager. Okay. The fluffy mod manager. Okay. Let's go back again to my mod folder. I keep them here. Mods. Let's go to fluffy. Now, when you downloaded fluffy manager 5,000, it's going to look like this. It's another zip file or a RAR file. What you do is you just extract it. Once extracted, do not panic. I know that's a lot of files there. It's fine. It doesn't matter where you where you extract it. You don't have to copy all these things to the Monster Hunter directory. No, wherever you extract it, it's fine. It just stays there. So what you have to do now is to click on Mod Manager. Double click Mod Manager, and I want you to observe this. You see these um, these files here at the left side. Data Legalese. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. But so now we're going to do is um, we're going to pick a game. Once you pick Monster Hunter Rise, not the demo, pick Monster Hunter Rise. Okay, you saw games just pop up there. There's a folder that got created. So what you do is you exit now because you have the folder already, MH Rise, mods, everything, it's all there. So what we do now is to get a mod that makes use of the Fluffy Mod Manager. One of the mods that I like that makes use of the Fluffy Mod Manager is the 2B mod. You can be 2B, you can make your handler as 2B. Once again, this is going to be posted in the pinned comment section below if you want this mod. Demonstration's sake, we are just going to install the um, the HD2B handler mod, okay? So it's going to turn Hinoa and Minoto as 2B. So that's what we're going to do. Just click on manual download. After downloading, it would look something like this, okay? It's another zip file or a RAR file. So extract it here. Once extracted, you have this folder right here. It's already labeled HD2B Handler. Now you just, the thing you do there is just copy it, copy the entire folder. You go to where you've extracted Fluffy Manager, go to games, click MH Rise, double click mods and just paste it there. See? Now what happens is to see if it actually works, go to Mod Manager again. I want you to see what's going to happen here. <clears throat> this is the Monster Hunter Rise game directory. Okay, this is your game directory. This is the Fluffy Mod Manager game directory. So when you click on Mod Manager, the mod is already there. If you want it to be installed, you click on this. And you would see a prompt there. Installed mod HD2B handler. And you're actually going to see it here. Look. A folder got added, which is named natives. Now it doesn't matter. Don't do anything with that folder. Okay. You can easily get rid of that folder. If you just click this one, see uninstalled mod, then you see the natives folder just, just vanished. Natives folder is now, is now non-existent. So you want to install it again. It's really easy. Now it appeared. Now we want to see what it looked like in game. You can launch the game via the Fluffy Manager and you can launch the game just through Steam. It's fine. And as you can see, who's the one outside? Is it Hinoa or Minoto? I don't know. But there, it is now to be. It's that easy. Now that is making use of the Fluffy Mod Manager. Um, there are a lot of skins there making use of the Fluffy Mod Manager. I think I've seen Greatsword skins, uh, Guts Greatsword skin is also making use of a fluffy mod manager. That's how you install them. Next one that we're gonna discuss are pack files. Most pack files are mostly related to speedrunning. 
but um, yeah, it, it's good to know as well. So how you deal with pack files is this. Let's make this as an example. So what we're planning to do here right now is to fix a spawn of Apex Raytheon by uh, near the subcamp. That thing is actually God spawn. You know, it doesn't happen that much. And that fixed spawn point is spawn point B. What we do there is you manually download this. I've already prepared it for you guys. So here, pack mods and spawns, okay? Spawn point B. So if you download that, you're also gonna get, if you download this, you're gonna get a uh, RAR file. So you just extract it. You're gonna have this one, a pack file. So you copy that. Go to your Monster Hunter directory, Rise directory, and you just paste that. But wait, that's not it. You see with pack files, you have to change the number, okay? So right now, I only have one patch pack file. So as the first patch pack file, I have to rename it. The first one is always going to be zero. So it's going to be zero, zero, zero. There we go. See? Now we're gonna boot up our game. It should spawn there in the God spawn. Because we have spawn point B, okay? Fix spawn point B. See? It's there. You see that? This spawn is hard to get for Apex Rating, man. For the people that actually watch us try to speedrun this on Switch, dude, this spawn doesn't happen that much. It just happens rarely. <laughs> so yeah, pack files are easy to install like that. But what if you have a lot of pack files? Uh, before we install the other pack file, I want you to take note of the font, okay? The font of the hub quest, low rank, you see these font? Take note of it so that you would see the change that I am about to do. So there's another pack file called uh, font swap for damage numbers. It does not just influence damage numbers. It can also influence the other font used in the game. Okay, so that you just notice a difference, I'm gonna go for this GFG Gyosho STD, whatever. So once you download this, it's the same. You go to files and you go to manual download, already downloaded and segregated as well. Pack mods and to font swap. So here we are looking for Gyosho. Okay, so always, always look at the description <laughs> on what they're telling you to do. Like, look at that. The folders are organized with my font name and have a number following the font name. The number indicates whether the file contains one numbers, two numbers and text, three numbers, text and menu. Now we want to go for the one that you would see the difference immediately. So we would go with number three, which is numbers, text and menu. So we go with Yosho. This is another pack file and we go to our game directory. But here's the problem. The pack file that we installed earlier, it's also 000. zero, zero. And this one that we copied is also 00. zero. What we can do is just rename the other one, make it zero 01, so that it doesn't get overwritten when we paste it. It doesn't matter which you rename. You can even make this the 001 and make this one the 000. It doesn't matter. What matters is all the pack files should be in incremental values. It should start from 000 and go 001, 002, 003, you know. And then click on it, boot it up. And as you can see, we're booting up the game now, not via Fluffy Mod Manager, but the 2B mod, it's still working. Okay, it's still working. And as you can see now in the loading screen, you saw there, the font is different. Even the confirm one is different now. See, I mean, it's not the most appealing, but you know, we're, we're just going for the one that's going to be obvious. So you're going to see, you're seeing that the now loading is also a different font. Everything's getting affected. The press any button is good. Continue is good. See, everything is different now. And we're going to test the damage numbers to see if it also changed. It should change. <laughs> it's actually, it's actually a bad font for me. <laughs> I feel like it's bad. So there. The numbers are okay though, it's kind of sexy. Hmm. It's actually nice, right? So there, that's how you install pack files. That's how you install LUA files. That's how you install Fluffy Mod Manager files. It's that easy. So if you have questions, just, just comment them down below and uh, I'll try to, um, I'll try to uh, answer them. So yeah, thank you for watching the video and have fun modding.